Okay, hi, this is Gil Robles, and I just want to continue with what I started last week as far as looking over this new application, Leonardo. Um, I'm looking at diversion history, and um, this is this is a recent program, 2017. I had not realized it was that recent, and I had a little time to play with it, and I'm just going to talk about what I like and what I don't like about it. First of all, let me let me put out what I don't like. I had talked about last uh, video in uh, the canvas where they had told me that I could um, adjust the canvas. Well, it it can you can, but it's not so easy here. Um, and to be honest with you, it's a, it's an annoyance, but it's a minor annoyance. Uh, the thing that I find very disappointing is it's set for infinite canvas right here. However, if uh, I go ahead and use the ink brush. All right. I, I like the ink brush a lot uh, because this is one of the pluses here before I go into it. You see the line you can get, which uh, goes from thin to thick. Uh, using the pen pressure, it's it's very nice. It, it does, if you're going slow, it's kind of wobbly. However, if you're quick, whatever, it, it, it works a little better. You have some options here uh, with the brush. The line over here, you can go from normal to smooth. Uh and you can increase the amount of smoothness so that'll help that definitely helps with your line so it's a great it, it's a great uh, it's a great brush okay but let me clear this let me talk about the um, infinite canvas if I were to do uh, say let me do a quick drawing And I find it very hard to talk and work at the same time. So let you'll excuse me for a moment. All right. Let's say you do quick drawing. So here's my guy right here, right? And the thing about it with an infinite canvas, it should be that this is uh, that this drawing right here is uh you know that no matter how how uh no matter how uh, much you size it up it's resolution independent it, it should be like uh when it talks about infinite canvas like mischief has infinite canvas and it's resolution independent it's vector so it you know you uh you can size it up however and it won't pixelate that is not the same for this, I'm sorry to say. There you go. And so Infinite Canvas does not work the same as it does, say, here's Mischief. So if I were to do my drawing in Mischief, So there's my guy and there. So now, and if I were to take, uh, if I were to blow this up, it's not pixelating. You see, it's really as that you can go small and really lose the image or you can, uh, you can come, come here, and you can go ahead and blow it up as big as you want. And you see, you, you're not losing the resolution. All right. So that's so much for the infinite canvas. It really isn't 
that. So, you know, uh, it, now the thing about Leonardo, it is in its beta version. So there are improvements coming up and so forth. So uh, before I judge it too harshly, you know, there, there's that. Now, not every program that is great has infinite canvas. So you don't really need that. It's kind of neat. But if you say it's infinite canvas, then it needs to be infinite canvas. Now, the way to adjust the canvas is... You can do a couple of things. Well, there's, there's this. There's uh, where you physically or manually adjust. Now, I'm going to have to shrink this down to get what I want. Okay, I, I want it to be at least 1,500 by... 1400 okay somewhere around there all right so now i change the size of the canvas and i press done and it's done that's my canvas so i can take up this whole canvas and it's a higher resolution now right the only thing is that i can't see my canvas all at once it, it's like it limits how much you could uh now, you can change to fit on screen. That'll take you back to 50. You can do actual size. That'll take you back to 100. You can't, but you can't really uh, see the whole thing. There's no scroll bars. So, that's upsetting. Uh, you can, or you can move this up and down with the hand tool right there it would be nicer if there were scroll bars uh, and it'd be nicer if I could see more of the canvas but this is I mean there's no way of adjusting this so you know it'll, that that's it it, there's no way of adjusting this. So, this canvas is annoying. This canvas is annoying right off. But, alright. You got that. And so, I can't really view the whole canvas unless I put a uh, fit on screen. Now, there's a thing here for a limit. But I don't seem to be able to access that. Maybe I can... No. No, can't do it. Uh, so, fit on screen. That's what you got. Now, the other thing that you do have is uh, you could uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, you can set the zoom limits. Max out infinite zoom. Uh, not so good. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's it. So the canvas is, is sucks. The, there's not enough. Uh, the, there's not enough to, uh, to control how you view the canvas. Now you could also on screen show proof of phone to go to full screen you know and um, do fit on screen that way and this is this is how you can view the entire canvas now for the purposes of this video uh, you're not able to see me uh, you're not able to see me uh, show you the entire screen if I do that now that's it I mean other than that uh, it, it, it's upwards from here you have here uh, let me see the, the brushes you have a very limited amount of brushes again this is the beta version 
uh, the ink brush I showed you, the pencil brush is, is, is neat and, uh, you know, you can change the diam. So you can you you have a, a diameter. You can change the size of uh, the pencil. It 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 uh it does good at mimicking an actual pencil. Uh. So there's that. You know, so I I think this is uh, it's a great brush. Okay, and you can you can the it's a limited amount of adjustments here, but there they are. What's that? And so, I mean, here we go. And uh, there's uh, the other brushes here. I haven't used the marker brush. This is not really something that I would use. However, I like I like that it has. Am I? Aha. I want some color. Okay. It's an uh, interesting brush. So there's the marker brush. Don't really use that. Calligraphy brush. I, I don't really use this either. But. Uh, interesting. Uh, and then let me clear. Uh, then there's uh, now this, these are more or less what I use. There's you have uh, again with all these brushes, some brushes you have more options than others. Uh, I can change the opacity here, change the texture, uh, the jaggedness of the brush. Uh, you can. Uh, I don't see what's the difference in the scaling and I see diameter is, is okay and it's a nice brush okay so I, I maybe you could see it better if it's larger but uh, there you go nice brush okay so that's a brush that I use there's a round brush. I don't use a round brush too often, but it's there. Uh, so there's that. I uh, love the flat brush. Let me get a little warmer color here. And again, you, there's a lot of options. You can lower the texture. Or you can have more texture. Or you can have even more texture. I like the texture. So uh, that that's a great brush. Uh, the airbrush does what an airbrush does. And there are your options for airbrush. You can also give it some texture. There, so it's not a lot. It's not like a uh, sketchbook pro or, or a sketchbook that you know that gives you a lot of brushes and you can tweak. I'm not sure if you can uh, introduce new brushes and so forth, but uh, it uh, it, 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 it what it has you can work with. So and uh, to be again to be fair, it's in the beta version. There's a lot more to go, and um, not only that, but the, the, there's a lot of changes to be made, and and it, they're promising that there are changes to be made. And it's not an expensive software. At the beta version, you get it for thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, when the full version comes out at some point. It's going to go up to 79 bucks. I'm, I'm pretty sure, and you can read it on the website. It says that on the beta version, you're entitled to the upgrade. So they invite you for the beta version to come on the ground floor, I guess, of the software. And uh, so it, it's, it's a good buy. Now, the thing is that let me open something that I had done previously. 
Uh, okay, so let me stretch this out over here. Here's a painting I had done previously, okay? Now, you see, whoops. You see, now I was only able to do part of the canvas, right? And it's at 40%, interesting. 50. Okay. So, that's interesting, didn't expect that. Uh, so suppose I, you know, I want to save this, right? Uh, let me do this. Export. Because otherwise you can only save it as a Leonardo document. So if I go ahead and you, it's going to ask you to choose the area you want to export. So this is the area I want to export, right? That's my portrait. So I'll say, once I choose that, see, you, you're not stuck to this right here. You, options, you have quality, you're at the highest, which is the maximum 100. And so you say export, right? Now, here you go. You have your option of how you want to export. You have a JPEG, a bitmap, a PNG, Targa, TIFF, all files, right? Now, if I save it as a TIFF, now you see here, scale proportionally based on smallest dimension. So say I want to, I want the width to be 1400. I don't really have to, I, I, well, I, I want the height to be 1500. Let me see, does that make sense? Eh, we'll see what happens. So they're going to scale this proportionately, right? And uh, I already have it saved, but let me just go ahead and do this. Uh, self portrait, that is me. Two, okay. Let's uh, let's export. Okay, now you have it here. I'll open it, and if you notice, it says it's at 1424 by 1500. Okay, so it's a good size, right? And so, see, the resolution... Okay, let me, uh, let me go back to the brush. The resolution didn't depend on... on uh, let me see. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. On on uh, on this right here. Oh, oh, I see. It it switched it over here. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. The whole canvas is. See, the resolution didn't depend on that, right? Otherwise, if I had done that and been dependent on this right here, on what you see up here, in the width and the height, you know, let me cancel that. Now, here you get a pretty decent resolution. You know, I can, I can blow it up. And it's kind of fuzzy because of... Uh, because of the way I painted it and you can see the texture of the brush and all that so it's 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 not you know it's not bad it's not bad so it's software that I can definitely use again this software can use some tweaking it could be better um, now there's other things that I can do to my image let me do this. Uh, I can transform this section. Right? I can transform that section to fill out more. Oh, I see. I see. Cancel. I would have to 
uh, go ahead and and uh, and flatten out this file so that it include all the layers. And I'm not going to do that right now. But you can transform your selection to uh, fit most of the canvas. Okay. I was just forced to work in this size because that's all of the canvas I could see at some at, at any one point. So, but you can change that. So anyway, that's my take on Leonardo. Promising software. The best software, I mean, you know, there, there are better softwares. It, there's a promise that they said they want to improve, that their ambition is to be the best software for painters out there. So they, they've got a while to go. It's very promising. They have some things. They have to work on this resolution a bit more. They have to work on the canvas. Their brushes are great. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's more coming. Uh, but I like that it's easy to use. And, and for us, I do recommend this software for someone who is who works traditionally and wants to jump into digital and wants a software that's easy to use. There's a number of softwares like that. There's Mischief, there's uh, Sketchbook, and uh, Leonardo just adds itself to that where you you know, you know you can get acclimated in, in uh, working digitally and it's not, it's not a big learning curve. You know, there's some things to learn here and there. Uh, you can play with it and you know, and, and, and figure things out a lot quicker than you could in an application like Photoshop or Art Rage or something like that. And it, it's it's promising. It's uh, it, it it has a lot of pluses. Um, so I put it there with mischief and, and sketchbook. Uh, not not exactly. I mean, uh. Just under it, it has a lot of promises. It looks great, you know. It's a very, has a nice painterly feel and so forth. And uh, I could, I, you know, to be honest as well, this is only my second time really playing with this software and and uh, finding out about it. And by playing, I don't mean to say that it's a toy or anything like that. It's a nice uh, painting application. Uh, it has a, a ways to go. But everything has things that need to be tweaked. And for it coming out this year, in 2017, this is a, 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 a big deal because it, it, is, it is very nice and right from the jump. So is it worth it? Yeah, 40 bucks is worth it. I mean, to, to, to get this far and, and with the promise of more. So uh, it's, not a, it's not a hit in terms of I got gypped. It's a great software. And I would probably wind up using it much more in the future. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my take on Leonardo. Like the software. Great software. Uh, give it a try. I'll leave a link to, uh, to the website. There's a trial version. So you have 14 days to uh, try this out. And you, know, and you don't have to buy it right off. So I would I would give it a try, you know, and see what you think about it. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and often some uh, I get this was suggested to me by a friend on Facebook. Uh, some people would ask me, hey, have you tried this? And I'll, I'll get around to it. Uh, a lot of softwares I have tried. So people keep asking me, did you try this? Did you try that? And I keep telling them, well, yeah, I tried that. I'm not crazy about it. Or I tried that and it was great. You know, so uh, this is one of the things I've tried that someone has suggested. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, but I will leave a link to the website. Also, I want you to know that I'm doing this with a pen and a tablet. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing digital software with a mouse. There are people who do it. Hey. Uh, I, I mean, but there are very few people who can do that. Um, and the ones that I've seen do that do do great work in it. Um, so that's it. All right. I will. And, and also, I'll, I'll leave a link to uh, pen, the 
pen display that I use, which includes a tablet and a pen, uh, which is a mono price. All right. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye-bye.